Whoops. <laughs> excited to introduce today's guest, Patisa Gremmel. Empowered speaker, entertainer. She's also the co-host of the Esoteric Principle of Bodybuilding. Co-founder of the International Institute of Body Design. The number one best-selling author of Feminine Body Design, Empowering Fitness for a Pain-Free Life. Atista Gremmel is a visionary, also certified in hands-on healing, intuitive readings, and energy clearing. Batista Gromo's longtime passion in quantum physics inspires her to help people of all ages to achieve greater integration of body, mind, and spirit through the practice of strengthening the body and mind with the Body Design Formula Prescription Strength Training Coaching System. If your mind can conceive it and your heart can believe it, then Dr. Fitness can be achieved. Hey, whoa, we're coming to you today. We're going out to California to see our guest, Batista Gramon. Let's get in that car and hop on, guys. Hey, good morning. It's Healthy Friday. Let's get in the car and go. You guys are ready? Here we go. Holy mackerel. Slow that thing down, guys. We are coming to you from DBS Studios. It's Healthy Friday. We have our guest out, Batista Ramon, ah, and she's going to tell me how to pronounce her name right now. Good morning, first of all. How are you in California? I'm excellent. Thank you, bright and early here. And by the wow, way, yes, and I thank you for being with us. It's not thank too you. often we get people from the other side <laughs> that early. <laughs> but you did it with us and I, I really thank you so much. So it's January 15th here. I like to welcome everybody uh, across the, the globe actually. We have comments coming in already, Batista. That is really, really good. Um, we are uh, welcoming you from DBS Studios, as I said, out in South Florida. You want some inspiration today? We got it. It's Healthy Friday and we're gonna move on. Hey, tell us where you're all from. Before I go, I just want to tell a shout out. I want to get Batiste on because she's been waiting so patiently for us. I want to do a couple of shout outs for you. We're going to go to Iran. Uh, Yade from Iran. Cody McGriff from Oregon. Sue Thalon, Oregon. Paul Rogers, Canada. Adele Campbell. Laura's going to be with us. Laura Cobb. Mary Lou Barber, NYC. Big NYC. Batista's with us. <laughs> Thurston, hey, how you doing? And uh, Chris Fabosi, a guy that I used to know at one time, is with us as well. All right, let's let's jump right in. First of all, I want to welcome somebody that is uh, extremely talented. Guys, you know who I am, Paul Charles Cop. I thank you for being with us. Let's talk a little bit about our guest, and I'm going to slow down. Okay, here we go. Uh, hello to my guest, Batista Gramon. How do we pronounce your last name? Go ahead. Actually, you did really well. Gramon is how you pronounce it. Okay. Gramon. And, and she is an international body designer, number one best-selling author of the feminine body design, which we will go through as well. And she empowers uh, fitness for a pain-free life. She's gone some, through some interesting story here. Uh, but we're going to get to jump right in and slow down with us. We're going to talk about some interesting topics today within fitness, emotional and physical. But before I start, I just want to give a quick disclosure to everybody. Anything that we're discussing today, please, please discuss with your doctor if you want to get involved with something on an exercise program, nutritional program. And we'll, we'll go from there. So I, I want to discuss something that is uh, always discussed with fitness 
uh, gurus. And here, here it is. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let Batista take this question. What are some of the most common fitness myths that you deal with every single day? Okay, well, I love these questions because I am the one that had that believed all the myths. And uh, when I got involved with this program that uh, we're going to talk about today, I uh, had to completely lose everything that I thought I knew and change my mindset entirely. I think that the, one of the first myths that, that I see is that somebody wants to lose weight and immediately they're going to go to the treadmill and think that they have to do a lot of aerobics. And in fact, it's true that aerobics activity and, uh, you know, get the body moving and exercising is going to help with weight loss and with general mm -hmm. health. But actually, the thing that's missing is the strength training, the muscle building that is actually going to boost your metabolism because it's going to build muscle mass. So, right. You know, so uh, we see people on the treadmills, hours in, hours out, and you do burn the calories while you are on the treadmill or doing the aerobic activity, but that's it. That's the amount of mm -hmm. calories you are going to burn. While when you do strength training, you burn the calories while you're doing the strength training, but then okay. you continue to burn calories for about three days afterwards. So when it's for weight loss, mm -hmm. you have to consider, if not doing strength training above aerobics, at least okay. training strength training. I want you to do something for me if you can, okay? Yes. Because a lot of people hear the word aerobics, okay, OT level, plug out oxygenation rate and so forth and so on. Give me a, a one or two sentence definition of aerobics versus um, non-aerobic. How's that? Okay, that's, that's great. Aerobic is uh, like the treadmill, running. Mm -hmm. It's anything that you, you're going to do, uh, dancing, moving. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's, that's aerobics, right? Move, moving the body, getting the oxygenation going, so yeah. to speak. And a, and Does a, that a, build muscle mass at all? Good question. If you are on a treadmill or you're hiking or you're doing something like this, then you might develop some muscularity in legs. Okay. But it's not going to do anything to the upper body. Okay. So oftentimes we see people that are doing a lot of aerobics, they have kind of strong legs, but then they don't have any anything up in the upper body. So it's no almost problem. like having two people on one frame, right? Okay. Yeah. So you look at a most likely a balanced situation when you train or do you uh, look at people based upon what they come to you? In other words, if you have a guy that's uh, over well over 200 pounds and he has a small frame, maybe 5'10", 5 5'8", 5 5 you tend to look at that situation based upon what? How do you train that person? Does he come in and say, listen, I want these I want those muscles, or you take a look and you work with them in terms of uh, a health miss prescription, so to speak. Okay, so this is a very interesting question, and this is actually the foundation of everything we do, is because we, we are not looking... You see, when people want a, a solution, when people want to fix a problem, Usually mm -hmm. they focus on the problem, but us, we look behind the scene and we focus on the cause. And uh -huh. the, yeah, and the cause oftentimes is because they they have emotional things going on. You know, mm -hmm. like if a person is overeating, then they, they, they are having some emotions or something, you know. Right. In other words, they're reacting to an emotion most likely exactly. at that point. Um so so do you, <laughs> this is a tough question. I didn't expect this to come up, but since we're talking about fitness myths, uh, you will look at the cause, work on the solution with them. Yes. In a cooperative yes. way with the, uh, 
the okay, client so, at that point? Yeah, so uh, one of the principles of our programs has to do with strength, okay? Okay. And, but not fitness, like uh, people imagine the fitness industry, they always imagine a lot of running up and down the stairs, you know, a lot of our, a lot of movement, a lot of stuff, a lot of sweating. In our programs, we like to ground the body so the body can be very safe and secure. Mm -hmm. And then we work with ergonomics so that the body is um, bi biomechanically in proper alignment. Yes, and, and we work on strength increase. When the body is operating under these parameters, mm -hmm. And what happens is we are able to actually increase the uh, strength in the nervous system. So, we're, ah. yeah. And so it's immediate quietness of the mind. When a mm -hmm. person is stronger physically, emotionally, then they're going to start making better decisions in, in the other areas of their life mm -hmm. where if uh, there is overeating or, or right. all kinds of, uh, of behavior, then these mm -hmm. are going to change uh, progressively. So we okay. don't, if somebody is overweight and they want to lose weight and they come to us for losing weight, we're not going to put them on a diet right away. We're going to okay. work increasing their strength and giving them a program that they can do comfortably so that they don't feel defeated. Gotcha. And gotcha. then they're going to feel better. They're going to start enjoying their training. Right, and right. Then right. we're going to introduce other components. And you go from there. Yes. I want to, we're going to jump on to this question in a minute, but I, I want to, guys, if you could show some uh, pictures up there in terms of, uh, uh, we're going to take a look at a few things. Uh, we got this late yesterday. Let's see whether we can get this to go, guys. Um, you could describe this with us because you could talk over this, uh, Batista, I believe. Okay. We'll give it a try and let's see what happens. These are interesting pictures, to be quite honest. And I, I, I said to her, they're not Photoshopped, are they? And she said, no, no. Here you go. So here we go. Let's take a look at what this we got here. Dr. and Connie, Bruce Barton and Connie Barton. And okay, so this is going really fast. Okay, these yeah, are- I'm sorry. <laughs> let's, let's put this again. There's no way to stop it because it just okay. goes. But let's so start with this dude right here. Okay. <laughs> this dude looks like he went through some great training, which you gave him. Hold on one second. Okay. So, uh, we can't uh, stop it, but that guy right there. Okay, that guy right there. So this is Dr. Bruce Barton and his wife, Connie. They are in uh, Idaho somewhere. And they're, okay. not, and they're not in bad shape, okay? But he wanted more. And uh, so he wanted more. Okay. Okay. And uh, he went, he actually came to LA and worked with Stephen. That was actually before I met Yeah, Stephen. we're going to introduce Stephen in a minute. <laughs> for those and, of you that are waiting for Stephen and you know who he is, he's going to be here. <laughs> Go ahead. Go yeah. Ahead. And, and basically, he, under, he underwent the, the training and within a year, totally, entirely transformed. Their yeah, that was both their physiques because then he introduced her, his wife too. So that's if they're a couple, that's they're happily one. married, they have uh, five children, and the wow. progression of the pictures you can see them from the time they started when they were in their fifties, and yes. now it's sixteen years later, and now you see them in the last picture. They are in their mid sixties. Wow, that's yes. incredible! Wow. So, when we're talking about sustainable results, that's what we're talking about. Sustainable. You know what? That's a key. That's. I'm sorry for interrupting, but that's a key statement. So sustainable results. I. 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 You know, because a lot of people go into a training program, they might get some sort of results, but get frustrated, and it's not sustainable. And they 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 go around and blame the weights. They go around and blame the trainer. Go ahead. Yeah, exactly. And because we, this is, this ties into what I was saying earlier. 
because you're working from the inside out, strengthening not only building muscles, but really strengthening the nervous system. And we'll work on posture, we work on correcting post uh, muscular imbalances. So basically, right. you put the body back into balance. Right. And when the body is in balance, not only you feel good, but you you look good, right? Right, you have right, energy, right. But that's when the body actually starts healing itself, the pain goes away, and and that's sustainable results. That's, that's how sustainable results. results. This is a big question, obviously, but I want to show a couple of... Uh, we're going to go on some uh, tips on, on weight loss. I just want to flash through uh, a couple of photographs here that you sent us. These are really interesting guys and girls uh, worldwide. Take a look at this. We're going to bring up some things here in a minute. Uh, just I'm going to slow it down and get to where we got to go. This one kind of blew my mind right away, right here. Uh, let's see whether we can get this to go. All right, let's uh, hold on one second before we talk about that. Let me get some of these uh, off here if I can so we can take a look at this. Tell me about these celebrity clients that you work with. Holy mackerel. Yeah, okay. So let's see, Bernie Dorman, who is the founder and uh, CEO of uh, CEO Space International, one of the largest um, um, business That's okay. And yep. then we have, uh, of course, Sally Field. Every, I, I would imagine most people know her, which is yeah, a, she's Hollywood an actress. actress. Judy yeah. too, also Hollywood actress. Uh, Linda Gray, Hollywood. Wow. Uh, wow. Hollywood uh, Olivia Hussey. These are all actually um, wow. This, Hollywood. This is... Then you have Billy West, voiceover actor of. Uh, okay. Uh, Who's the guy in the bottom there? That's got all the muscles all the way on the bottom. Oh, he's that's got he's uh, he's got Doctor Fitness shirt on. Uh, let's see which right um, in the middle, in the middle. <laughs> with, oh, with arms and biceps that look like he could take on the world. Go ahead. Yeah, what, what's his name? Oh, his name escapes me. He's a he's a famous uh, bodybuilder, actually. Okay, not a problem. Oh, not oh, a problem. Paris, Paris. Um, I'm sorry I put you on the spot because you didn't know that this was going to come up either. No, so, uh, you know, if, you want, I, if you want to get with us on this later, i like to know who some of these people are as well. These are uh, really good. I'm going to bring on some other uh, things here. I know you are a, uh, a number one author, and we're going to talk about that. I, I think I want to talk about that right now before I bring in Dr. Fitness as well. This okay. is at a book signing, is that correct? Yes, it is. That was okay. my number one uh, best-selling yeah, book. Tell me a little bit about that book right there. Okay, excellent. So uh, we were hired to do um, a programs for women with endometriosis. And mm -hmm. I didn't know much about endometriosis, so I started doing some research. And during my research, I found out that endometriosis uh, cause kind of like what we teach for women's health, mm -hmm. uh, autoimmune disorder, chronic fatigue. And, and I, I saw all the links that, that led right. to the same problem or the same cause. So, okay. so instead of uh, just writing the book for endometriosis and just concentrating on just that topic, I realized mm -hmm. that all the findings that I was having were related to all women. So right. that's how I wrote the book. Actually, it started with just the research mm -hmm. for a program that we were hired to do. And, right. uh, and then I realized more and more as I was researching and writing that everything that I was noticing and that I was writing about were really all the things that the, the misconceptions the, that I was suffering from. Because I gotcha. my whole life, I... I I was under the same misconceptions as so many women are. Right, so right. this is how the book came about. And then right. when we uh, um, published it, it became a number one bestseller. Yeah. Wow, that and, was good. It looks like also I'm going to put this on too. That was a number one bestseller, but it looks like uh, you and uh, somebody else we're going to introduce in a minute 
uh, did a number of other ones. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so uh, Posture for Power, that was actually the first book I wrote because when I met Dr. Fitness USA, I was so fascinated with the, the life story, the results, right. and, the, you know, yeah, the history that I wanted to document it. So the Posture for Power is actually a, a part biography of Dr. Mm. Fitness USA's history, but then okay. also a lot of the philosophy and also a lot of the track record and some of the pictures that those celebrity clients that you right. Have, Right. Short earlier, then in the book, there's more about them, their story. Okay. So it's a little bit of a, a, a an overview of um, Doctor Fitness USA's. History. Okay, I'm going to bring in. We were going to uh, go to a question here. Uh, um, obviously, all these books you can get on Amazon. It looks like is that yes. correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. Actually, uh, stronger than medicine is not out yet. I'm working okay. on that. But you got that one coming up as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not a problem. <laughs> let let me let me let let's do this as well because we're talking about a guy by the name of Doctor Fitness. Maybe we could get him around here. But uh, before we do that, um, I want to talk about uh, this question right here, and then we're going to back into something else. How did you get started in the health? and fitness and health and wellness. Tell me a brief thing about that. And maybe while we're doing that, we could bring in somebody that has to do with that. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah, so, a little introduction. Thank you. So I was actually a professional dancer. And um, I had some car accidents when I was in my mid-20s. And okay. dancing for 40 years over injuries I ended up seriously injured. Wow. And about 11 years ago, I was against the wall. I was desperate. I was in so much pain. And uh, I was really praying for some answers to, to my body. Wow. And, um, and one day I, I was at a, I, so everything in my life was dance related. One day I was in a restaurant where I was waiting to have a meeting with the owner about the dance show that I was going to do. And this gentleman uh, was there coming for... Let, let, let's, let put, let's put that gentleman on there. <laughs> He's kind of cute, <laughs> hey, right? Hey, guys, take the banner out of this. Uh, <laughs> this guy happens to be walking around your house, huh? Uh, this yeah, morning. He, uh, yeah, he does. Please do an introduction on him, please. Go ahead. Uh, well, this is uh, Stephen Hersey, who is also known as Dr. Fitness USA. And okay. he's the foremost expert in the world in strength training and body design. And he's actually the reason why I'm here. There you because, go. Because when I met him, um, you know, he, he told me about that he's an international body designer and he can help me with my injuries. And you believed and you believed all of that, right? Well I did because I tell there you why go. I tell you why. Okay? Because well, my, a guy that looks like that, I would believe it. <laughs> <laughs> the reason the man has got it going, let me tell you. Go ahead. The reason why I believed him is because I had tried everything to heal okay. my injuries and okay. to get a grip on my body. I was okay. a professional dancer. I was healthy. I was fit, but I couldn't heal my injuries. Yeah. And then he that's stopped. what you meant. Excuse me. That's what you mentioned in pre-production. You were, you had a lot of painful injuries. I did. I did. Okay. And when I heard his conversation, that sounded something like this. Oh, as a woman, you have to work out uh, from a woman's perspective. You can never do anything that's uncomfortable, but you have to lift weight. But you have to lift heavy weight. Woo. Uh, it was like, oh, and as a woman, you need to stop giving and learn to receive. Wow. Uh, repeat that. Repeat that again. I think a, with that, he just won everybody's heart. That's a woman around the world. <laughs> yeah. And me, 
I was a professional dancer. Okay. I, I was in the no pain, no gain. The show must go on. I have worked over my injuries and danced over my injuries my whole entire life. Lifting weight was not in my radar, okay? Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I didn't want to get bulky. Right, and right. Smith, women think they're going to get bulky, okay? okay? I had that. And besides, never doing anything that's uncomfortable and lifting weight didn't fit in the same sentence. Right. Right. So, I was so like, he, he scooped you up, correct? Yeah, he scooped exactly you. Up. Let happened. me, <laughs> let me move on. Let me move on to her. That that gentleman over there in the corner on the right hand side, uh, Batista. You could stay on with us, but I'm going to put a solo for him uh, in there. Look at he's got Buddha in there. Thank you so much, uh, Stephen. Introduce yourself. Go ahead. Good morning, Paul. This is. Uh, Good morning. Oh, I hear the phone ringing. Uh, they they're asking for Doctor Fitness. If there's a Doctor Fitness, of course that's me. Uh, so good morning, and uh, people always want to know uh, how to take their body to the next level. So body design is a 360 degree transformational way of life, and it starts by saying yes to being open to ideas and solutions tell me a little bit about briefly if you can uh those of you that know about mr olympia and Li mr olympia uh, uh actually the training and the, and the trophies and the this that and the other thing this gentleman was involved in that in in quite a quite a unbelievable way and the other thing is that i'm going to uh tell you that this uh, human specimen in front of you is, um, you want to give your age, if you don't mind, or no? I just, uh, 73. I'm a New Year's baby, and my mother always told me I could do no wrong. I was a son of God. <laughs> and you still are. Yeah. And let me say this much. For those of you, and I have from being a life coach, and I'm going to just say this out, out straight out. For those of you that are in your 40s and your 50s and you think that your life is over and you can't build your body and you can't strengthen your mind, look at this gentleman as an example. He's dedicated his life to uh, health and fitness and well-being of other people. So tell me uh, about um, how you started in this business. Well, that's simple. I uh, used to read the Charles Atlas comic books, and I saw that having a muscular body and avoid being having sand kicked in your face, that if you had some muscles, it be served me well. Uh, so even though I was young, I wanted a more manly body. So muscles appealed to me. And um, I had a father who didn't exercise, so to speak, and I had a mother that uh, – I was able to use my feminine side to convince her to buy me a membership to a gym. Perfect. And that and that's the way it started. And it moved yeah, on from I joined, there. I joined gyms and you know, uh, when you're a member of a gym, they hope to God that you never come back after the <laughs> And I stayed on for years and years and years. I never left. I kept evol evolving. He has just just let me say this. He, I'm, I'm glossing over his experience. He is world renowned in training. Um, he's worked with some tremendous people. Um, he was brought into a family, um, I, I guess, as the story goes through Misty Olympia and, and so forth and so on, which we will go on with in another program. I think I'd like to have Batista and uh, Steve on for another program to get into a little bit about what he does, how he does it with her. Uh, he's, he's very, very good at what he does. And I think from an audience standpoint, the health and fitness, and we're going to get into a little of the mental of it as well. Uh, we'll bring him back in terms of what he does, but look at him as an example. Because I've had people within this last few weeks that I've spoke to 
says their life's over. They can't work out. They can't do this. They can't do that. It's frustrating. You know what? Um, look at look at examples. Um, not that you should emulate examples, but look at the goodness of it. Okay, and look at what you have with him, uh, Stephen. I like to thank you for dropping by with us. I'm going to speak to your wife here. You made a good choice, and she made a good choice with you. So I'm going to get back, and I'm going to thank you. I appreciate you coming on board with us, okay? Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh, you did very good. We have a comment from Donna. Uh, got, hey, Donica, how are you? I just want to say this. I, I, I just um, I look and feel better at 50 than I did before, thank God. I love to train my body and enjoy the, the great results of the healthy life. And we're going to talk about that. And it says, don't. Don't ever say I can't. Oh, excuse me. Don't ever say I can with an N. Just, oh, so can't. Okay. Just do it. And I agree. That's what uh, obviously what Nike was known for, but it's it's so true. I want to go on with Batista. Um, Batista, we're going to show a couple of uh, other questions for you that we went over as well. Okay. Uh, we kind of glossed over this one, but I want to go here because uh, pain management is extremely uh, uh, important. Tell me a little bit about this, and then I want you to move into this as well, if you can, okay, about stress management. So just dovetail a little bit about pain management, injury perfect, prevention, rehab. Can you talk about that and give us a couple of tips? Go right yes, ahead. Absolutely, ahead. because actually what I did finish to tell you in my story is when I started working with Stephen 11 years ago and I was so injured, what happened is within a very short time, weeks, literally, my injuries started disappearing. I think my backache was gone in, in about a couple of days, I think, about wow. 40 years. And I got very old, and I forgot to tell you, that's when I decided to marry him. So <laughs> I, I didn't marry him right away, but, you know, I ended up marrying him. Um, but I was really fascinated of why, of, you know, because I had done everything in my life so to, to heal my injuries. And so I did a lot of research on it, and I will tell you a couple of points of my findings of Please do. injury. And understand that the injury prevention, the stress management, and all these questions that you're asking me are related to the same answer that I'm going to give you. Okay, go right ahead. Okay. So the nervous system is actually responsible for all the healing of the body. It's, it's responsible for your movements, your thoughts, your emotions, everything, right? So in the beginning of this conversation, I told you that we strengthen the nervous system. Now, mm -hmm. the nervous system is like the electrical panel in your house. If it's outdated and you plug in more appliances, it's going to blow a fuse. And this oh, is what happens to people, to the body. Mm -hmm. We, we are, have so much stress. We are on overload. We're doing. We're always in the doing mode. Our nervous system is literally outdated. This was my life. No pain, no mm -hmm. game. Show must go on. And if you look around, it's most of a lot of people's life, especially right. the pandemic and COVID and their elections and you name it, everything that's going on in our lives. We are walking around with outdated nervous system, electrical panels, and then we add more to it when we want to get in shape. Right. Now we got to go and we got to do more. And, and so oh, we yeah. the body has no room to heal and to be quiet. And so when you when you do a system like what we teach, to ground the body, okay, to feel good, to take that breather, we, we not only strengthen the nervous system, but because mm -hmm. we work with ergonomics, okay. we clear the neuromuscular pathways to the brain, which creates new, uh, new neurons in the brain. Did you know that you can actually regenerate neurons in the brain with exercise? If you can, re repeat that sentence again. Go ahead. 
you about can the neurons. generate neurons in the brain. You can you you can actually create new uh, new neurons in the brain with exercise. Okay. okay? Wow. And there is research now that has been done on it. Mm. And they, they did a whole research on um, on elderly people when they put them on a strength training program and they increase their strength like with a leg press or through the legs. Right. They uh, were able to discover that they could not only reverse but, but potentially prevent neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer, okay? So when you talk about stress management, pain right. management, and, and all these, these topics, That's yeah, what right. the first component is to strengthen the nervous system so that you have a place to heal. You see? So that could be done through um, exercise, obviously, and, and um, you know, not only body, mind, et cetera. Um, uh, that's what but we do. That could, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, that's what we do. That's why the program works. That's what I'm saying. This is actually what I wrote in the book, you know? Exciting, there you go. You know? Because people say, well, how come you, what do you mean pain? You, 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 you can heal pain. What, what? But you have, this is what I'm saying. You have to look at the cause. You see, because right. you have a backache, now you think you have a backache. Okay, you have a backache. Maybe you have accidents like me. I had nine car accidents when I was 20 years old. Okay. Wow. Yeah. But, you know, people think, oh, I have a backache. I got to heal the back pain. But what, what is the process of healing? You have to give the body a chance to heal. And the way you do that is you put the body back into balance. You see? There you go. Balance, alignment. I'm going to give you an analogy, okay? It's like you're ahead, driving please. a car, okay? And then one wheel doesn't have enough air in it. So the uh, car is going to start to shift to the wobble. other end. And of course, you can still drive. You you, you know, you're going to move. You know, you're going <laughs> to turn the wheel a little bit, right? But eventually, yeah. it's going to wear out that tire, and pretty soon the tire is going to blow or you're going to just get off. Go, go from there. Right. But this is so what it's, it's getting in balance. It's getting in balance. Yes. As you said before, the stressors in today's society are at, you, you mentioned the high points, the election, COVID, uh -huh. things that went on. So it's, it's, it's getting things back to stability. Uh, and that's what your programs are about. Is that correct? Absolutely. We Perfect. focus. We focus on the foundation. We focus on posture, because that's also part of the alignment, right? Absolutely. If posture is in place. We focus on muscular imbalances because we all have them, and that's also creates imbalance. But we also because of the ergonomics and the grounding principles, we also focus on establishing a brain muscle connection. Ah, there you go. You know what? I wish I had more time to go over that. I, I just want to uh, go into uh, a question that I hear a lot as well. And I think we're going to have you and Stephen back. There's no doubt about it because we've had a lot of questions and comments about that. Uh, there, there's one question and we're going to post this up and, uh, I'm going to, uh, ask you to, uh, answer this. Uh, what are the three challenges that face people that prevent them from exercising? The three, the three challenges. Go ahead. The first one is no time. Ah, there you go. <laughs> no time. I have no time. I have no time. I have no time. Okay. So I will give you a tip about that. It's a, it's, a, it's the no time doesn't exist. It's only a matter of priorities. Okay, mm. you gotta prioritize. And I will tell you that when you feel better, when you're stronger, you're more productive, and you also have more brain capacity. And people say, it, and it, you know, it's not only me saying. You just have more time. Right. Better. 
right? You're more right. efficient. Right. right. And also you learn to delegate, you learn to prioritize better because you're just more in your body. You see, absolutely. People are, people are living in their heads. Absolutely. Right? They don't they most people don't have that brain muscle connection. They're not in the center of their beings. So they're in busy the other. Okay. Busy. Wait a minute. Busyville. Yeah. Is busy that what you said? Oh, I love that. I love that. Yeah, the other thing that I like that you said in terms of uh, time versus priorities. If if somebody has a priority, they will make the time. I'm going to bring on Laura Cobb. I don't know if she's around. Um, Laura, you want to speak to, uh, or do you have any questions? For uh, Batista, Laura Cobb is out of Chicago. She drops in every once in a while as well. She uh, helped with uh, last week's show. Laura, are you available? Hold on one second. Let me see where she's on. And uh, oh, there you are. Hi, hi. hi. Laura, Batista, how are you? Hi, nice to meet you. Do you have any comments for her in terms of uh, uh, emotional stressing or? things that that um, uh, challenge people, prevent them from exercising type yeah. situation. Do you have any questions for her? Um, just uh, some comments. I mean, I think you, you nailed it. Um, I, I used to train clients in, in the gym as a personal trainer. And I was wondering, what was your experience in regard to clients when they come in the gym? And did you get a sense of when they walk into the gym, how their demeanor was? And could you sense um, kind of like where they were at, what they bring into the gym? that it's difficult to separate work and the gym and family and work and, and whatever is going on at home or at work, they bring it to the gym, just get it out in the gym. And then whatever happens at the gym, it may roll, roll over into what happens at home. Did you get a sense of that at all in um, uh, when you're working with clients that there's a, a carryover and it affects the workout? So in other words, what you're saying is there a carryover between their daily life and yeah. think that they bring the baggage into the gym. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Baggage. Is that absolutely. is that the question? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. But understand, yeah, that you're absolutely right. But understand that when we work with a client, and now we are more, more or less online, okay? But when we work with clients physically in the gym, we focus on grounding the person. We focus on having them be in the moment okay mm. and we focus on strength increase through ergonomics and in a matter of 20 minutes we can get a person to increase their strength by 50 percent wow or more Re repeat that repeat that one again laura stand up yeah. Okay. Bring your posture but, up but on that one. Let me finish my train of thought because I'm getting somewhere with this to answer this Sure, question. please do. Okay. I love that. When a person, so we have a person, a woman, 60 years old, she's out of shape, she's never worked out, we put her on the leg press. In a matter of 20 minutes, she's leg pressing 400 pounds. Okay. Jesus. She is now in the moment. There is no room for thinking or, you see, at that point, it's you and God. The weight goes up or it goes down. That's mm. immediate quietness of the mind. It's immediate stress relief. That's being in the moment. We teach people not to multitask. What we teach people to do in the gym, we teach them to do their life like that. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, no future, no past to stay in the moment. Period. Yeah. So multitasking wow. is actually a, a, a disease. <laughs> you know, there is yeah. really, right. So so yes, people come in with their luggage. Yes, they do. But because we take them and we put we ground them, we bring them back to the moment and we increase that strength, which is gonna strengthen the nervous system, then that's how they start releasing that. That's a tremendous answer. Tremendous. Yeah. See, yeah. you know what? I, I didn't realize. You think about it, Laura. It's very zen. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, it's hard to get it puts place. you right into that present moment. She said it. There is no here or there. It's you and the weight going up and down, and that's it. 
yeah. that's about as as much a in the of, moment as you get. A lot of our people um, wow. end up um, comparing the training as an active meditation more than mm -hmm. a training. Yeah. It's a great question. That's Laura, do you have any more comments? Because I, I, I have a, a couple more questions for her. Any more uh, comments? You want to stay on board with us? Uh, just maybe, uh, do you do you incorporate any holistic um, besides the ergonomics? Is there any other type of modalities that you incorporate into a, tra a client's training regimen? Is there uh, any other modal? Uh, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that again? A little bit slower. I lost. Are there that. any sorry. other modalities that you incorporate besides ergonomics into your your um, client's training program? There you go. Okay, so Stephen has developed the system over 55 years. And so the system is based on, what we teach is based on the system that he developed. It's a proprietary system, and it also consists of specific um, sequencing of exercises. Ah, oh, there you it go. Okay. On each other. So, okay. And... Yeah, it if I could jump in now, what we're going to talk about, hold on, hold on. You could, you could continue. The reason why I'm going like that, he's waving in the background from the other studio. <laughs> he's chomping at the bit, but I'm going to hold him. <laughs> he thinks he's getting on. He's not getting on. The reason why I say that is I want to hear about this sequencing, etc., in another program that's targeted to that okay ba boom okay now he's, he's waving his hands he's going yeah 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 the reason why i say that is when when you had just mentioned that okay laura brought up a point that in regards to the other you know modalities whatever you use in there if there's a proprietary sequencing program i want to know about that I don't want to know about it in this program. I want to know about it from him on yeah. his program. Yeah, we're going to tell you that we'll have to kill you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you that's, what I, Laura, that's what I love about this program, right? <laughs> Laura, thank you for coming. Let me just <laughs> bid you adieu <laughs> for a second. <laughs> Guys, okay, I'm going to ask you a couple of more questions. Briefly, because we're running into about 47 minutes going into 50 minutes. What is your best advice for living a, uh, a life of happiness, fulfillment, and success? And by the way, I apologize for cutting you off on that last part. The reason why I did that, sometimes I'll do that, okay? okay. Because I think what Stephen and you could bring to that sequencing program is a whole program on its own. I, I, that's, that's, that's something we'll, we'll, we'll discuss at another time. But okay. tell Stephen, I hear him waving and I see him waving in the background. Tell him we'll do that. What is your best advice for living um, a life of happiness, fulfillment, and success? And then we're going to get a little bit more about you and uh, how to contact you. Go right ahead. Beautiful. It's all make, yours. Yeah, make yourself a priority. Make yourself a priority. Okay? And... Um, Find the balance in your life, but put yourself first. If okay. you don't, if you don't put yourself first, you know people are always wanting to fix everything, fix everybody, fix the other people. Uh, you know, do the business, do the website, do the the children, do the. You know, it's all on the outside of the person. But if you are not strong, healthy, centered in your own being then you're only bringing that to the world or to what you are, you know, your children, whatever you do, your career, your job. Perfect. So, yeah. so put yourself first. I've, I've, had, I've learned that. I, I never did this before. I learned this through this program, okay? And do not underestimate the power of strength. Sometimes people say, why do, wow. I, why do I have to lift weight? Why do I even have to lift weight? Why do I have to be strong? What, you know, it's, it's the yeah. same thing you ever heard. Strength is what you lose as early as 30 years old. Wow. Do you know that? About 10% per decade 
So mm. 30, 40, you say that nothing is happening. 40, 50, not 20 percent. 40, 50, 50, 60. You see the tremendous amount of muscle mass and strength we lose, and then all of a sudden you're 70, 80, and you are like old and nothing functions. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Well, don't tell your husband that because he certainly doesn't look that way and doesn't feel that way as well. No, uh, exactly. But don't underestimate the power of strength. Power of strength and put yourself first. Yeah. I say that a lot uh, as well to my my life coaching clients. I tell them to look at their hand and look at their thumb. I said, that's only your thumbprint in the world. You are that important. You're the only person with that thumbprint. Yeah. So make yourself important. Exactly. And remember that physical strength, emotional, spirit, spiritual, mental is all related. You Absolutely. Can, can be strong Absolutely. here and weak here. It, it I have a question. Uh, I'm going to post this. We might not be able to answer this because we're kind of running um, into uh, a time warp here. But uh, Donica asked this question. And you know what, Donica? I'm going to let you... Uh, Ask this question to uh, um, to both uh, on email as well because I'm going to post up their email. Said I had a I have a question. Four months ago, I got in a bad fall, and uh, I believe it says that I had a concussion. Can you please tell me what are the best exercises besides yoga and meditation? Now I I don't know whether you want to answer that at this point, just uh, with okay. her in mind, or you just want to broad brush it and maybe. Uh, she will get back to you on a one-to-one -one basis. Go ahead. Yeah, there's no cookie-cutter answer to that question. Perfect. And without having an assessment and knowing if there is a medical release or if you're under med medical supervision or whatever, we can't really give a generalized answer to that. Absolutely. So for I would just recommend that you... Uh, go to our website and book a, a yeah i'm gonna batista i'm gonna put up your stuff right now in terms of contact is that okay yeah yeah absolutely i mean you understand that we right i can't give you all you need to do this exercise right right so right I'm right gonna, that's like an infomercial <laughs> everything <laughs> is good for everybody but you have to specifically <laughs> take a look at the instance so donica i'm gonna uh answer your question by putting this up as well this is how you could contact Batista. These are her contacts. It's her uh, website where she has her uh, uh, contact situation. Beautiful website, by the way. Some good things that we couldn't get to. We're going to flash some other pictures on there as well. Uh, Batista at drfitness.com. The website is drfitnessusa.com, drfitnessinternational.com. And uh, we will definitely be having them back as well. Um, I, I There's one more question that's a surprise question for me that I always ask my clients at the end, okay? It's called the big takeaway. Now, I when I do this, I'm going to flash this on here. Let's, let me hear. Somebody's asking for this again. Hold on one minute. BatistaDrFitnessUSA.com. The website is drfitnessusa.com, drfitnessinternational.com. And their, their website is absolutely gorgeous. They Thank do a lot of good work on there. Uh, tell me your big takeaway for our audience. And I am going to tell everybody that we do this for everybody on every show. Healthy Friday, Business Wednesday. What's the big takeaway uh, okay. for you? Go ahead. Uh, strength is life. Strength there you is go. life. Without without strength, you 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 wouldn't be you, you wouldn't even be able to do your day. So people walk around with thirty percent, forty, sixty percent lack of strength, vitality, and it's like zombie land. Yeah. Without, without realizing, right? So strength strength is life. Strength is life. Strength, strength is life. And mental strength, physical strength. Uh, when you get knocked down, grow back up, get that strength, keep going. Keep, yes, uh, strength is that's, life. Strength in your body. You know, I, I know the, 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 now with the, all this, the new age, uh, spiritual, 
you know, it all comes in the mind and you gotta, you know, but if, if you, if you're weak, if you're like messed up, if you're beat up, if you're like, you know, it's hard to just, you know, like, I gotta, Absolutely. I gotta just get up and go straight on your body and you see that it's going to stop. You could wake it's up. It's going to move forward. It I'm going to put this up briefly. Uh, if you can just tell us a little bit about this. Uh, guys, just take that banner off on the bottom. Hold on one second, please. Okay, this is a most outstanding fitness program, 2019. Tell us a little bit about this, if you so, don't mind. Yeah, so in 2019, we were hired by uh, Roger Salam, the, the founder of the Winner Circle Mastermind at Sea, to work okay. with them. And this is an organization that takes high-end entrepreneur once a year to mastermind on a cruise and so wow. we worked with him for a year and uh, we uh, i ended up going on the cruise twice to, in the bahamas to work with the with the organization and with mm -hmm. him personally and lo and behold we won the most outstanding fitness award through his organization that's incredible it's incredible i saw this number one i think it's a beautiful trophy <laughs> Thank you. Yes, it is. artistically it's a beautiful trophy and I know Steven and, and you, and I, I mentioned this in pre-production, by the way, what a team. That's all I got to tell you. The, um, I'm, I'm so glad I, 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 I found you guys out there. Tremendous team working together, uh, helping so many people over the years. Um, we are excited about getting them back on again uh, in, in terms of what we chatted about. Um, there, this obviously this trophy out in front of you is a true testament on uh what they do and how they do it there are there are so many other pictures here just let me flash this in because dr fitness would want to want this on hey laura take a look at this okay if you're on look at this there they are and all their infinite wisdom they do some some sort of work and this lady here she puts it together okay <laughs> If he gets out of line, he she straightens him up as well. Uh, they also do a fitness program at home. I'm just going to show that basically. They do have a challenge coming up. Um, I'm just going to flash this on. There's a five-day zoomed out challenge. Get your body back January 11th um, and yeah, New Year next today's, year. Today's, today's the last day of the five-day challenge. Come, it's, it's at 10 a.m. Pacific okay. Standard Time. You have to come. It's the last day. I'm inviting everybody to come. It's going to be awesome. It's where we not a problem. Together. How can they get on that through your website? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the link. Uh, is I can put the link in the in the put theme. your link on the LinkedIn post on a yeah. LinkedIn post for them. Yes. Okay, and mm -hmm. we'll go that way. There are some other pictures that I'm gonna just flash on through. Uh, they do body design. Obviously, we know about that. Uh, I, this lady here has done a tremendous job today. Laura Cobb, wherever you are, stay on, okay, with us. Um, I would like to thank everybody. What a show. Um, and I, I, as I said before, uh, Batista, I'd like to thank you, um, Dr. Fitness out there. I'm going to put them on. You could just wave. No talking, okay? Just wave. Hi, goodbye. I'll see you later. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you so much. Okay, you're a great guy, great sense of humor, very warm. What a couple! I'd like to thank you all for being with us today uh, on Healthy Friday. Batista, you have any other uh, thing to say in terms of 2021? Um, yes. You know, I'm going to put this up. This goes for everybody. Everybody, how are you going to make a better world today? in 2021 we had a tough 2020 it could be a tough 2021 just think of this for yourself and think of what you could do for other people as well and yourself as batista says put yourself number one that's not to be selfish okay you still could be giving on there i i thank you all for tuning in with us today batista any final words for us please yes 
If your mind can conceive it and your heart can believe it, then Dr. Fitness USA can help you to achieve it. There you go. And I thank you so much to stay on with us. Ah, there you go. (laughs) You want to repeat that again? Go ahead. We lead by example. We lead by example. There you go. And I thank you, Batista. Stephen, thank you. Give me a wave, please. Thanks. I'll see you guys. Stay on board with us. Let me just see if there's any more comment on there. Uh, Yeah, Miss Gibson, limit excuses. I like that. That's a good way of putting it. Limit excuses. Just do what you got to do. We're going to end the broadcast. I want to thank you all once again, worldwide, for being with us. Healthy Friday. We went over an hour. Son of a gun. That is really good. Important. I thank you all. We're going to go three, two, one. Just stay on board with us, Batista, okay, please? Thank you so much. Peace. We will see you next Friday and next Wednesday. Bye-bye. See ya.